Fast fashion is a mass production of cheap and usually low quality clothing. It's cheap only because of the constant reduction of production costs, such as using low quality materials and underpaying the factory workers. While it seems like a good deal for trendy clothing, fast fashion is extremely harmful to the environment. The fashion industry is the second largest polluter in the world, just after the oil industry. It'll keep damaging the environment as the industry grows, unless we become more aware and take action. In most countries where the clothing factories are located, which are usually in countries that don't have a high minimum wage and restrict environmental regulations, untreated toxic waste waters from textile factories are dumped directly into rivers, which will end up in the sea and spread around the globe. Those wastewaters contain toxic substances such as lead, mercury, arsenic, and other substances that are extremely harmful to aquatic life and the health of the people who live by the riverbanks. Runoff and evaporation waters are heavily polluted by the use of fertilizer for cotton production. The heavy use of chemicals also causes diseases and premature death among cotton farmers. Other than that, it also pollutes fresh water and ocean water. The fashion industry plays a big part in soil degradation by doing things like using chemicals to grow cotton, deforestation to make wood-based fibers such as rayon, and overgrazing pastures through cashmere goats and sheep raised for their wool. Every year, thousands of hectares of forests are cut down and are replaced by trees that are used to make wood-based fibers instead. The fashion industry is a major water consumer. They use a large amount of fresh water in order to be able to produce clothing. Up to 10,000 liters of water are needed to produce just one kilogram of cotton and approximately 3,000 liters of water for just one cotton shirt. The desertification of the RLC is one of the results of cotton production. The fashion industry drained the water entirely just to produce cotton for their garments. The industry is currently responsible for more annual carbon emissions than all international flights and maritime shipping combined. It accounts for 10% of the world's carbon emissions. A lot of greenhouse gases are produced due to the production, manufacturing, and transportation process. Synthetic fibers that are made from fossil fuel makes production more energy intensive than with natural fibers. Most of the countries that produce our clothes are essentially powered by coal, which is the dirtiest type of energy in terms of carbon emissions. Synthetic garments, such as polyester and nylon, release about 700,000 individual microfibers into the water every time we wash them. The microfibers will make their way into our oceans and ruin aquatic life once again. The small aquatic organisms that ingest those microfibers get eaten by smaller fish that will get eaten by bigger fish and so on. This means that there will be plastic in the fish we eat, which will result in health complications when we eat it. It will also cause a decreasing life quality of the aquatic ecosystem. Synthetic fibers are plastic fibers, which makes it non-biodegradable and can take up to 200 years to decompose. Even when it breaks down, it creates a toxic substance with a harmful impact on the marine ecosystems. 35% of all microplastics are from these synthetic materials and fibers. Wearing synthetic fibers will release plastic microfibers into the air. Cheap synthetic fibers can also limit gases like N2O, which is 300 times more damaging than CO2. New trends and styles appear very frequently, which makes people want to buy clothes that follow the trend. People tend to buy clothes, wear them a few times, and get bored of it. As of the year 2019, 62 million metric tons were consumed globally. A family in the Western world would throw away an average of 30 kilograms of clothing every year. Only 15% of the unwanted clothes is recycled or donated, while the rest goes directly into landfills or is incinerated. Due to the number of the leftover cutout materials used to make the clothes, a large amount of materials can't be used anymore. 
The discarded clothing in the landfill goes through the incineration process, which poses multiple public health and environmental dangers to the people who live nearby communities, as toxic substances or large amounts of poisonous gases are released as a result of burning landfills.